I don't think that any change in support for Trump is going to be enduring, but that's because people's attitudes about Trump are grounded in nine years of, you know, they're getting information about him. And so what are they going to learn in 90 minutes that they haven't learned over the course of the last nine years? What makes Harris interesting is that this is kind of her first impression for a lot of voters. Um, people know who the vice president is by name, but they don't have strong opinions about the vice presidents most of the time. That 90 minutes is probably the most information that they've received about her. You know, as a woman, as a person of color, there is implicit and explicit bias that people have regarding her suitability for the office. And one of the things that needs to be communicated again, is that this is a person who is experienced, who is ready, and who is able to inhabit that office. And I think that she did that effectively. Yeah, I thought Trump started really strong. The economy is an issue that's comfortable ground for him. It's an issue that he wants to be talking about. And I thought he was forceful and in control in that answer. And I think forceful and in control is what he's aiming for. That's kind of the bullseye for him. When it pivoted to abortion, I thought you saw Harris get a lot stronger. Uh, that was a great answer from her, a great issue for her. This is one of the first Democrats that called Donald Trump out on a number of his personal characteristics, his policies and legacy. Uh, and his overarching personality. Debates may or may not have any long-term influence on the direction of a campaign, but they always benefit the viewers. People always learn about the candidates from them, and people that do watch them always see their confidence and their knowledge about the election go way up.